this one. And their opponent, as you I'm sure you've read already, is Northwood University Light. Yeah, very, very strong team. Both teams are at seven and two, so definitely gonna be a tough, tough matchup here. Northwood of White Saints gonna be going for the Echo Tracer backline uh, type of composition. Northwood will be going for the Ash Tracer, so it's gonna be interesting on a brig on both sides. Definitely the strongest lineup here on this map squeak. Gonna look to poke out that Tracer a little bit. Just gonna be able to stay alive here on this point. Gets taken down to low HP, forced to jump out, so a bit of pressure here from uh, Northwood. Getting some nice damage down for Saints. Gonna be trying to cap the point first here. Squeak forces that jump. Let's see how much damage Razor can find here with those stickies around the corner. Will be taken down to 1 HP. Nice headshot onto that Tracer. Whoa, beautiful wow. kill by Razor. That's gonna open up the fight here. Saints already have the point capped as well as Razor finds that second. Nox just does fall down, but Saints will win the extended fight here. Nice anti there on to the Winston. Squeak tries to get in there, but does get booked away still. It's a beautiful start to the first map with Saints. Beautiful start for the Saints and Northwood. We find anybody here, but hey, it's the whole first quarter of progress for the Saints out of the way. They still have so much left in the match. And this Razor has to be very, very careful because Devil Wood there is going to shoot this guy. Raiden, getting a beautiful jump on the back line. Razor though, trade again, get a nice trade and Squeak continuing the momentum, taking out the back line. Yeah, and it's gonna be a two for two trade early, but Squeak finds the second support. Razor doesn't decide to use that ultimate. I think wouldn't have been the worst idea to maybe extend this fight a little longer. Now it's gonna be a two v one for the side of Northwood. Squeak very very close. That pulse bomb crucially misses, which means Squeak will be able to stay alive. The Ana is back to heal up alongside the Brig, and the extended fight is looking good for the Saints because they do have this point capture squeak does get that primal rage ready i think we're gonna see it come out here ash is in a lot of trouble here squeak who does find the opening kill and saying somehow come back into it they're going to be able to win this fight as squeak is doing god's work with that primal rage the rest of the saints are there to follow up it's looking like an amazing start as northwood have been caught completely off guard and Northwood just completely caught off guard using that wince into full effectiveness on the side of St. Clair. Just able to barrel on through, find those key targets, jump on the back line, and make sure to are deprived of any resources at all. And now Northwood's trying to do the same, but just struggling as the supports on the side of the Saint are just ready for it. They're always online, always prepared for the worst of the worst. I mean, look at that. Already popping the break all just to try and keep yourself up. I mean, you gotta play for time at this point. You're in the overtime. You have 99% oh, no. already on the board. There's a Neto. There's a few things going on here. No supports. Absolute chaos and no supports for St. Clair. Yeah, let's see if they can win this fight without their supports. I don't think he'll be able to do so. Squeak with him to 1 HP. We'll find a pick onto the Winston Noxious. Trying to win this 1v1 against Lee. But Razor on the flip side does trade 1 for 1 as well. Noxious will be able to get out alive. Northwood do take the team fight in the end. They use a lot of ultimates to do so, but so did the Saints. And it's going to be overall a great victory for Northwood. Oh, hot swap of Lucio. There, Noxious. Oh, so close. Out that Tracer so close and so far. Tracer such a slippery double pick there. Yeah, almost finds a pick there. That would have been a great start to this fight. Let's see how Saints decide to play this one. They haven't played off the back foot yet on this map. One anti nade could be all she wrote. Nice shot there from Red X. Winston jumps in. He does not have the nano boost available or the ultimate. Very, very dangerous push in there, but Red X does get traded out still without the Winston. It's gonna be very hard to hold here for Northwood. Squeak gets into that backline. Noxious has the post bomb as well. That soldier now has no slide. Let's see if Noxious can find the big post bomb. Goes around the corner, does not find it. That could have been a team fight one right there on the spot. Tracer now on the flip side will be forced to recall. Squeak 98 to that primal range does have it. That could be a huge ultimate now as Razor finds the opening pick on to the Soldier. Now the Saints are rolling. This Juno should be falling in just a second. Razor, though, is going to be the next one to fall. Saints struggling to find some picks here, but finally they find the two that matter the most. The Juno and Winston fall down. The Brig falls down as well. And now the Saints going to clean up here. Tracer falls first round going over to the Saints. Good round from the Saints by far. One of the best rounds we've seen in them in a while. Sure, there's a few big catches coming through. This might get a last touch. No. no. But still, 
absolute dominance from the Saints, and that's what you want to be seeing after such a close loss. Yeah, absolutely. Saints doing everything in their power to win this one. They know they want to get the highest seeding possible. Eight and two is still an amazing, amazing Swiss round performance, and they can keep up this type of gameplay. I don't think there's anything Northwood can do. No, sir. But now on this next point, it's all going to be up in the air once again. Looking what the switch up is going to be on any side. I feel like Northwood probably should try and sw switch this up a little bit. It wasn't quite working out for them. Yeah, maybe an Arissa type of composition because it looks like Squeak is just getting the most amount of value on this Winston and Brayden just hasn't been able to find the same kind of value. You can see Squeak is up on the high ground. We'll have an easier way of diving the back line. We'll have more room to travel, but that is a nice anti on Red X. Northwood pull the trigger first, but their tank falls instantly. So I don't know how good of a trade that is in the end. Squeak has his whole health to work with nice shots there from Noxious. Gets a nice trade onto that Tracer and Liba running into that wall. That's not the best play possible. Noxious, nice track in there, finds one. Anna should be able to fall, but no. Noxious trades his life. Razor will get that one in return. Nice team fight for the Saints. A very swift one again, and they capture the point. Capture the point. I don't think I'm noticing if the Saints are able to just isolate their tank and take them down. Without a tank with this whole 5v5 meta, you're out of the game if that one tank goes down. Yeah, the tank is so, so important here. And a huge anti coming in from Reddix. The whole team is purple. Serena going to be the first one to fall. Brayden will be the next one. And it's just Northwood getting annihilated right now by the Saints, who are taking them down with relative ease. The stagger on Tuliba is amazing. 30, 30 points and taking for the Saints as Northwood will switch over to the D.Va in the desperation, trying to eat those anti-nades. It's going to be a switch up here, and we'll have to see how that works out for them. We'll have to see. The D.Va might be the right play. Oh, a pulse bomb. Oh, major pulse bomb there. I think he didn't get a kill, though. He barely got swapped. That was the one that was finished out in Sarina. But still, trades left and right. They're just pushing this D.Va back, not letting it oh. get to the point at all. I mean, already the Saints closing in on that 60 mark. And Northwood, the only ultimate they've had so far is the Pulse Bomb. Saints have already used three of their own, and they're not even too close. The Brig is only 70%, Anna's only 80. It's going to be the Saints who have that nano boosted Winston going in this fight. That's going to be their win con, and I think that's how they're going to be able to close out this map. One final attempt here from a Northwood. How do they choose to play this one? They use the Bob immediately. Sweet doesn't have that ultimate, but will we stay alive? Brayden immediately gets one shot out of that mech, and that could be all she wrote. There is a Bob on the point. Brig looking to contest that one. The rally is uh, available. Nano Boost comes through a couple picks. Go over to the Saints, and this is just a complete sweep. Razor finds a third. I don't think Northwood will be able to get onto the point as it's a 4 for 0 team fight and a very, very quick map one victory for the Saints. Wow. Yeah, after such a long, hard fought last game, that was definitely one of the quickest games we've seen yeah. all day. The Saints just absolutely in full effect, in full force. The absolutely impeccable teamwork taking it down. Northwood in a bit of a shutout scenario. Yeah, Northwood gonna have to do a lot to get back on track here, but they just got completely smashed by the Saints. And, you know, Saints getting off to a hot start is definitely scary. I think we're gonna be going over to a payload map, if I'm not wrong. So, yeah. That's what we saw last year. It's probably what we're gonna see again. And, you know, Saints did a good job last time. I think if Gibraltar is the play, Northwood are in a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah. But if they can play an Arissa centered map where maybe take the Saints a bit out of the comfort zone, they might give themselves a fighting chance. I definitely agree with you there. I think the Saints are really hoping for a map that is centered towards them. If it's a map, like the payloads are always difficult, yeah. right? Because these things are so fast. These first uh, checkpoint-based game modes are so quick. But now, when we're slowing it down to a payload-centered map, it's going to slow down to a crawl. It's going to give Northwood University a lot more chances to try. Slow this down, get some picks, win some team fights, 
and get themselves back into this thing. Yeah, but from the look of things, Saints don't want to let that happen. I mean, they were just taking the fight to their spawn. They weren't giving any space to work with, and that's how you play Overwatch. You want to go first. You want to take the advantage. And we're going to be going over to Kings Row Saints. Have a bit of a sour taste in their mouths probably Ooh, from yeah. the last time they played this map. But they looked pretty good, really good on the attack. Defense-wise, I think that's where they need to improve. Exactly, I'd agree right there with you. And now, I think the Saints start defense on this payload map. They should. This could be very, very quick indeed if they can get another shutout scenario as they have been doing here. I mean, they're definitely hoping for that, but on a map like Kingsra, when you have four minutes to win one team <laughs> yeah. fight, I mean, uh, you definitely expect Northwood to make a bit of a dent in the Saints' hopes of winning this map, but... Uh, what do you think we're going to see team comp wise from the Saints? I think the Saints are going to keep running that Winston, you know, especially if they don't have to play it into that Orisa. They're ready for literally anything else, you know, just Orisa's a little bit too strong to contest with the Winston. But nevertheless, I think the Saints just have them beat in terms of perfecting the team comp that they've already been playing. I would like to see some switch-ups from Northwood. I liked the idea of switching to the D.Va. It was, I think it was just a little too late to really get into the swing of things there, especially on that last point. Maybe I think I want to see some of the DPSs choose something a little bit different. Yeah, I mean, that's what we saw in the last series. Brian Strud went for that May on the attack, and it caused the Saints a lot of problems. And, you know, if Northwood did their research and had someone maybe look at that VOD really quickly and see that for the Saints, they struggled against that May, they could pick that up of them as cells. But from the look of things, that will not be the case. It's going to be Saints on the attack first, and it's going to be Northwood University on the defense from the look of things. So Saints, yet again, going to be attacking, going to try and get the full map cap and get as much time as possible. Yeah, it's going to be a very interesting game right here. I mean, Saints now just need to have a good attacking run. Even if they do, there's got to be some nerves on their mind. Because last time they did get the full cap, but that wasn't enough. So now, I think they're confident going into this first half. They're going to take it all the way, I believe. But it's going to be very scary once they're put in that defense. And it looks like the Widowmaker mirror will come out yet again. We saw how much damage Noxious could do on this Widowmaker. Devilwood is going to have a big challenge lined up here as Marissa gets to get down low HP immediately. Saints are going to be taking a lot of space. Red X just keeping the heals up in this backline squeak. Can't take too much space. They're just waiting for Noxious to find this opening pick on this Widowmaker, but it's actually going to be Leba finding the opening pick on to Soaks, I believe, as now the Saints are a bit discombobulated, but they do find the trade pick, and they should be able to find this Genji as well. No, Razor does fall down. The rest of the Saints are going to be so quick to do the same here as Squeak falls down. It's a good start on the defense for Northwood. Good start for the defense for Northwood. Absolutely. Different uh, tone from the last game. It seems like they've woken up. They've even tried to tidy things up. And things are looking very good so far. Since these alts start getting acquired, though, I have a feeling things will tell a different tale. Yeah, and you could definitely see Northwood having a bit more success on the Orisa composition. It's as long as they've been able to win fights for him in the entire first map, that's great. And going to be taking a good amount of poke for a couple of his cooldowns now. See how Saints decide to play after this Orisa has run out of things to use. The Juno ultimate's gonna be the play here, but the Saints just gonna get in there. Noxious finds the opening pick, but so much damage from that Orisa ultimate. Finds the trade onto the break still. A lot of health bars healthy for the Saints. One for one again as Noxious gets deflected. Razor picks up the brig. One HP on Leva though, does get taken down. The longer fight, definitely better for the Saints. They will be able to find the rest of the kills and the first point should be going over to them in their favor. Yeah, good defense from Northwood, but now... Oh, maybe they contest. I think they're going to get one more contest in here as the cap was not happening during that entire team fight. But it's going to be risky, you know. Uh, do you play 
back there because you don't have your Orisa. They shouldn't go for this, but they will. The Genji tries to touch. That's a nice ultimate from Squeak. The nice out of space. There's the Dragon Blade and the Brick Ultimate. This is very, very winnable for the side of Northwood. The C9 almost comes through. 96% and counting, and the cap comes through. A lot of ultimates used from both sides. In the end, it's going to be St. Clair Noxious. finding the team fight. Noxious finds four, four in a row there. Nice shots from him. Saints find the cleanup, find the team kill as they get the ball rolling. Absolute insanity from Noxious. I hope we get to see it from his point of view. We'll see in play the play. Game. That better be play. I don't think anyone can outdo that. But at this point, absolute insanity here. Just blew this game wide open in the Saints' favor. And that's just going to put the fear of Widow into their hearts for the next <laughs> entirety of this game. Absolutely. I mean, Noxious. Playing amazingly no on this with a maker. The walls will come through from Devil with the first, though. He's playing very aggressive, and the walls come back out from Noxious. Nor and, and Devilwood way too far up. Razor should be able to find this pick, get out of dodge. Beautiful play there from Razor. Does get pushed, but dashes out. That's an easy start to the fight for the side of the Saints. As now it's gonna be North with Force to back out, but this Genji way too deep in. I mean, a couple of positioning errors here from Northwood really leading to their demise. You can definitely tell their mental is not doing the best. They're a little bit oh, scattered pick. right now, and with Noxious getting pick after pick. And then Genji finding the weaknesses on their back line. They're not able to get any sort of concrete footing here. I mean, they're closing in on that second checkpoint. I can tell Northwood's getting a little bit desperate. They have a few ultimates here. If they can just push in onto this oh. side. But no, they're being pushed back so far by the Saints. It's not even a question of if they can stop it. It's if they can stop the th triple cap at this point. Yeah, I mean, Saints are just getting into the spawn. Noxious is just clicking on the heads. Great shot there. Killed the Devil with three times in a row now without any response. And Razor has been doing God's work on this. Genji, whole team of Northwood stacked up towards that left side. You see Noxious sensing there could be a Widowmaker coming out from the right, but no, there's a spear hitting Noxious, but it's going to be a nice ultimate from Squeak, finds a pick onto Devilwood, Razor uses the Dragon Blade, finds one slash, but has to be careful, has no cooldowns, will be able to stay alive, Widowmaker ult comes through, Rally comes through as well, all ultimates getting used on this side, but both support ults used from the side of Northwood, and they can't find anything, finally, Raiden finds the opening pick, and they think Saints can look to back out. Looking to back out. They got a good halfway push there, but at this point, without enough ultimates to break through this next line, it's going to be very, very tough. But they're still holding strong. They're taking some ground, trying to slow down the fight, farm some ult charge here. Yeah, switch over to Cassidy from Devilwood. He was not having fun on that Widowmaker. Noxious is just having an amazing game so far. Juno Ultimate going to be used by Redix. Saints trying to rush the spawn of Northwood, but Northwood do a really good job of fighting out of danger here. Still, Saints going to get so much space to work with. Noxious actually gets deflected. Lipa, beautiful deflect. There's a great start to the team fight for the side of a Northwood, but they are such low HPs. Let's see if Razor can find the cleanups. Three picks go over to the Saints now. Gleba with the Dragon Blade, finds one. They need to find this kill as soon as possible. Can they find it? Yes, they do. It's just the break left. A nice ultimate there. Razor gonna look for the follow-up. Can they find the cap? The touches come through. Kiriko gonna be swapped over to one more meter is all they need, and they will find the cap with two minutes remaining. Absolute masterclass from the Saints. I mean, they found the momentum. They found the weakness in the armor, and they strike there with the full effectiveness. And now, with Northwood on the attack, Sinclair just has to shore up their defense. They have to get the redemption right here, right now. They had that trauma of the last series on King's Row, where they did exactly this. They had an amazing attacking half, but their defense left something wanting. But now is the time for redemption. Now is the time for their last chance in these Swiss rounds to prove that St. Clair has that strong defense. No, I think this time we're gonna see a bit of a stronger defense. I think Noxious is uh, quite clearly uh, the, the better Widowmaker here. With all due respect to Devil Wood, Noxious has been putting on a highlight reel. And when your Widowmaker is finding picks left and right alongside your Genji, just dashing into the backline, finding every pick, makes the game so hard for the rest of the team to play. And I think in the last series, you know, there was way more resistance from the side of Brian and Strath, but 
Northwood, they tried, they had a bit more, uh, a bit of chances on the first point. They got a stop here, a stop there, but overall the Saints kind of just rolled over them with their picks and their ultimates. And, you know, Northwood going to need to do the same to stay in the series. They have to do the same. Good positioning by Knox just here. I mean, <laughs> absolute crazy angles. And now he's going to have to rotate all around. Going for the jump shot, can't quite find much. Definitely don't want to overextend. We wanted to try and play the safer angles, but Noxious is going for these crazy angles, not what they expected. He's trying to play these close inner indoors angles. Yeah, looking for some shots there. Finds a headshot onto the Orissa, but that's about it. Razor gets to come down to low HP, does get out of danger. And he's doing a decent job of just staying alive here and burning the time clock. Northwood have made zero progress so far and haven't pushed anything. Haven't pushed Hotel, haven't pushed Main. So really getting out to 1 HP. Saints going to push off of that one. No shots found from Devilwood just yet as the, re the re contest comes here from Northwood. They aren't doing much. They've already burnt a minute off the clock and they've made completely no progress. Yeah, they haven't made it too much progress at oh all. Oh my but goodness. Now they're on the site. Noxious just hanging on by a thread using that DPS that full deck to try to get oh. out. Beautiful push oh. by Red X. Can't secure the kill, but that's gonna be a pushback at least. They're pushed back off of the site. They didn't even get a third done. And now the ultimate is online, but they're all falling all at once. We're not gonna see that Juno ult come through unless they're really desperate. And they just very well might. They're running out of time. They've run out of nearly half of their time and Noxious just slammering down on these squares. I think that's a huge misplay from Northwood. They found Redix, the most important pick you can find in this team comp, is finding the Juno. They have the speed ring, they have the ultimate, and they decide to back up instead of going forward. That is what could cost them this map. Now let's see how they decide to play this attack. Saints have fully regrouped how Redix getting way deep in there, but they do find the picks with the Dragon Blade. Razor finds one, finds a second, and all the kills are going over to the Saints. Noxious does fall down, but it's a clean, clean team fight again only using a couple ultimates. And now things are swinging in the Saints' favor once again. They have three of their strongest ultimates on line. I mean, Northwood, sure, they're going to have all their ultimates here, but they have to try and use them correctly. They're not quite in the position to do so just yet. Yeah, they have the support ultimates, uh, but Northwood should have a big, big advantage in uh, this next team fight. They have practice five ultimates. Noxious, though, finds the opening pick onto the brig, and still the ultimates are going to be committed from the side of Northwood, but they have no more supports left. This is the biggest team fight in uh, this map that's left. Three ultimates used from Northwood, not a single kill found, and Saints only using two ultimates of their own to stop that one. That could be the nail in the coffin. Yeah, they match one for one they do have the brig alt still online on both sides so if the saints can just somehow survive this dragon blade or try and keep leba down for the count they will most definitely lose that i have a feeling though that's not going to be quite so easy as they're moving into position razor gets out with his life there in a very, very sticky situation as it's going to be almost last by territory leba does have a nice flank has the dragon blade ready Let's see how they prepare this attack. For the first time, we see Northwood going for a different approach. They take this high ground. Saints, though, will gladly flip the map. If they can just get Noxious on a good angle, makes the game impossible for Northwood. I don't know how they're going to deal with this Widowmaker. They're going to push around the statue now, but Razor finds the opening pick onto Devilwood, and now we should see a lot more kills coming through. Razor finds a second. Raiden on the Sarissa will fall in just a few moments, and Saints are cleaning house. All they need is to stall out this point for 10 more seconds, and they take the series. One final touch should be coming through for Northwood, but with these staggers, definitely not a team fight that the Saints should be losing. You can see Razor oh. knows that there's a trace around that corner, wow. does the max amount Dragon of damage, blade. and that is going to be the map and the series. Saints very, very swiftly take down Northwood White 2-0, to zero. and I'm assuming we're going to see Noxious on the play again. Yeah, I wonder who's going to get the play. If it's not, in the, there it is. If it's not this Noxious of 4K, what else could it have been? Let's see this from his DLB. 
able to find the body shot onto the Juno, body shot onto wow. the Brig, body shot onto the Aris, and a nice flick there <laughs> onto Devilwood. Beautiful, beautiful performance from Noxious and the rest of the team. Saints finished the Swiss stage at 8 and 2. Yeah, very strong finish from the Saints as well. That's how you want to close it. A quick 2 0 finishing strong after such a close last game. I'm sure the Saints feel very good about their performance in the Swiss round. Only two losses is something to write home about. That's a passing grade. That's an A grade, a grade. if you're in class. <laughs> I mean, they, they uh, knowing them, they expected nothing less than probably an 8-2 and two finish to the Swiss stage. I would be... Uh, I'd be surprised if they lost three games in the Swiss stage. So a great, great job by our Saints here. And, you know, they finished the season off strong. Now the real part begins the knockout stages. They're going to need to, uh, they're going to get some easier teams in the early stages, but they need to stay focused to not lose any silly matches. Yeah, that was just a prologue. And now the real chapter begins soon but that's all we have here for today once again we gotta thank the people in the back who make this whole thing go amanda daniel yeah go well <laughs> i was gonna say amanda and daniel no no i was just i was like it's going good but i was like good's not the right word but anyways nevertheless it's been a while of overwatch we're gonna close things out thank you to our sponsors as well tim horton's subway Alienware, and we also have to say, thank the St. Clair SRC and the St. Clair College Alumni Association. With all that being said, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to join us later next week for more streams. Follow our social media, stay up to date with all of that. And with all that being said, have a good day, everybody.